So for this question, we're going to find the slope and the y-intercept of the following equation. So we're given the equation negative 4x plus 8y is equal to 30. Now, if we need to find the slope and the y-intercept, the best thing for us to do is to take this equation and put it in slope-intercept form. Now, this is slope-intercept form right over here. y is equal to mx plus b. Essentially, what that means is we want to take this equation and we want to solve it for y. Because as long as our equation is solved for y, this m right here represents our slope. So whatever the coefficient of our x is, that's going to be our slope. This plus b back here, it doesn't have to be a plus, it's a plus or a minus number at the back of the equation. This represents our y-intercept. So as long as our equation is in slope-intercept form, we know exactly what our slope is, and we know exactly what our y-intercept is. So that's what we need to do first. Put our equation in slope-intercept form, which means solve for y. Now solving for y, so y is right over here. The first thing we need to do is get rid of this minus 4x. So we're going to get rid of it by adding it to both sides. Negative 4x plus 4x goes away, and we drop down 8y. And that's going to equal to, now pay attention, slope-intercept form, we have our x value first, our number followed behind it. So when I drop down this right-hand side, I'm going to drop down the x term first, then the number. Now this x term is positive, right, because we said plus 4x. So when I drop it down, it's going to be a positive 4x. And then this 30 that we have over here is also positive. So when I drop it down, I'm going to say plus 30. Which means we almost have to solve for y. We have 8y, though. And remember that this is multiplication. This is 8 times y. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we need to divide everything by that 8. Now 8 divided by 8 cancels, and we're going to drop down that y. And that's going to equal to, well, let's see. We have 4 divided by 8 over here. Now, 4 does not divide by 8 evenly, but it can be simplified. We can reduce this by dividing out a factor of 4. 4 divided by 4 cancels out to a 1. So 1x is just x. We don't have to write the 1. Over x divided by 4 is a 2. So that's typically like saying a 1 half x is what we have there. Plus... 30 over 8, well, 30 over 8 does not divide out evenly, but we can reduce this once again by dividing out a factor of 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15, over 8 divided by 2 is 4. So they want us to state the slope and the y-intercept. So taking a look at our equation, the coefficient of x is our slope. So in front of x, we have a positive 1 half. So that is what our slope is. Now our y-intercept, we need to keep in mind that a y-intercept is a point. So we need to have an x and a y value. Now this plus or minus number back, o back over here represents our y-intercept. Now it represents the y value for our y-intercept. And we've got to think about this. When we have a y-intercept, it's a point that's on the y-axis. And any point that is on the y-axis is going to have a zero for the x value. Because you wouldn't move left or right, but you go straight up and down and plot that point. So the x value is always going to be zero. The y value is going to be whatever this number is back here. And we have a 15 fourths. So that means the y-intercept is 0, 15 over 4. So there's our slope, and there's our y-intercept for this equation. That's it for this video.